Hobbs versus Wardlow for the TNT title. They fight in the parking lot. I guess they had to destroy another car this week. Wardlow destroying, getting one car destroyed wasn't enough. Uh, they go two minutes, have a commercial. They come back. Uh, the crowd finally gets their table spot, so they determine this is awesome. Uh, the power bomb on the ramp looked a lot more violent. That looked absolutely no fun. Oh, God. Hobbs just bounced. Oh, God. Which is not good. No. It's not like bouncing on a trampoline. Or a ring. When you bounce on something solid, yeah. may as well call 911. So Wardlow sets up for a power bomb off the stage, but he is suddenly chair shotted and low blowed by QT Marshall. And Hobbs and Marshall work together to throw Wardlow off the stage onto a thing. And, uh, <laughs> and Hobbs won by technically count out. Now, this is not a being counted out of nowhere in a false count anywhere match because they did like a standing 10 count. Yes. He won by knockout, I should say, really not count yeah. out. But uh, there you go. Hobbs is the TNT champion thanks to QT's help. And uh, I hope he can restore this title because it still has not recovered to where it used to be. Well, I don't know what they're going to do, but uh, I was not expecting QT out there. But hey, they uh, they did this story months ago with QT and Hobbs, and they're going back to it. They can explain it next week in detail. But as long as Hobbs goes out there and beats the shit out of people every week, I don't give a fuck. This guy, there's another one. I've been I've been asking for this one for a long time. It's fucking time. It was Hobbs' time like two pay-per-views ago when they had that three-way. He should have won then. He didn't. But now he has won. He got the title. He's beaten Wardlow. He can go and destroy Joe. He can go and start just destroying dudes left and right. And then eventually, I think he should lose his title to the Jungle Boy. I think that should be... But not for a while. Yeah. I think you should... Here's the key. If Jungle Boy is going to get a big win for the title... Hobbs needs to be pushed as fucking unstoppable. Second only to the AEW champion. Even maybe more than the AEW champion, because the champion's MJF and his gimmick is he doesn't wrestle a lot. This guy needs to be like a killer. A fucking Goldberg running over people. And finally, he gets taken down by Jungle Boy. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> Knock, knock, who's there? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's not how not, not jokes work. <laughs> we Bailey? <laughs> what does that mean? She's small. It's <laughs> we barely made it home. Oh, we <laughs> <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a dude, doodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. What? See, what? These, these, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.